Today we're going to show you guys how to create an awesome tech video that looks like this. Today we are here filming a really cool tech video for Lossy and they do these external hard drives and I'm with Karen X, the amazing Instagrammer filmmaker and she asked me to come in and collaborate with her so I'm doing a little bit of DP editing work for her and what we're doing is we're taking the concept that I had with the makeup tutorial where we saw the product spin and duplicate but now we're taking it to the next level to make this really cool tech video and just to break down a little bit of what we're doing is right here we have a giant black acrylic sheet because the reason why we're doing that we had to make it so big is because we have this huge space for her because we want her to feel like she's in this big edgy dark tech warehouse looking thing right and then what we're doing is, is we got our black backdrop like we always do with the savage backdrops and then we're running with the duvetine on the sides because it almost wasn't it wasn't big enough for how far back we are going and then simple simple setup we're just doing our three basic three lighting setup we got our key light which is the aperture 300 d mark ii with the light dome ii with the grid on it and we have that so that that we have that and then <laughs> oh my gosh and then over here what i'm rock, rocking is the other 300d and we have it with the giant photox i think it's called photox they, it's a giant diffusion which is a four by six diffusion and it works great because the bigger the diffusion and the closer you have the diffusion the softer the light and we're having that as our fill light and we have that turned down quite a bit because i don't want it to be completely black on the left side of her face because we're going to lose information so we're going to have a little bit of light just to fill in right there and then our last light is way up there which is a sl60w and the reason why it's way up there is because we're kind of hitting too much of the side of her face which i didn't want and we just want it as a backlight we are not lighting the backdrop at all or purposely this light spills a little bit onto it because we want it to look like a very empty large space great and then this is where it gets a little complicated so what we're doing first is we're going to break this down we have a whole chore choreographed scene that we came up with and what we're doing is we're breaking it down where she's going to start with the hard drive in one hand and we're going to do that whole movement then we're going to go into our next one which is no hard drive whatsoever and she's pretending the hard drive's there doing the whole movement and then we're going to go into a third one where the hard drive is in the opposite hand where she'd be catching and the reason for that is because i'm gonna have to take each of those and mask them together and then we're going to add in the green screen of the hard drive rotating which we're gonna do after this. And let's check it out. Okay, so to pull this off, what we did is we shot this three times. I had her do it once with the hard drive in her right hand, then once with the hard drive in her left hand, doing the same motion, and a third time with no hard drive. And the trick was is that we had her sync it up to music so that it was the same movement and the same pacing each time. Then I was rocking the 70 to 200 on the Canon 1DX Mark III, just on sticks. And then we switched to the final shot where I had her measure out with the hard drive and then pretend the hard drive was there. And then she's gonna lift up and spin. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow for me to place in the hard drive from the green screen and edit it in so it looks like she's magically standing still and then she's spinning it with magic. So now that we got all the shots with Karen, the next thing we gotta do is do the green screen spinning shots. And unfortunately to get this to spin, we had to drill into it as you can see. So this hard drive is inoperable, which is heartbreaking. But after that, we took the skewer, shoved it in the hole, cut a little hole in the, in the plastic uh, casing or the rubber casing, slid it back on. And then I had the stick this long, but the problem is, is it gave too much bow because of the weight. And so now we're running with a little bit smaller of a stick because now it doesn't bow as much. And we're just gonna attach it right onto here like so and go. One sec, it's really hard to do. There we go. And here we go. 
Beautiful, look at us. We got spin. Oh, hello. Come on, Cletus. <laughs> what the hell is Cletus? From uh, Oh my God. Yeah. All right, so the most important part about getting these spinning shots is, is that you really have to think about all the frames. All the shots that we had Karen in, the way that we had the hard drive placed is the way that we're gonna have to shoot it on the green screen. Yes, the green screen removes the background so we can place it in any shot, but if we don't have this at the same angle, at the same look as the position or the position that she was holding the hard drive in when she was doing the throw, it will not work. It won't look realistic. And so we have to make sure that we're gonna do that. There's three different shots that we have to recreate. These three. Let's do it. Oh. These three. Over there. All right guys, so now we're in Premiere and I'm gonna teach you guys how I got the hard drive to throw from one hand to the other. This is actually a different clip than the full video that you guys saw because me and Karen actually agreed upon on the deliverables to create a shorter version too. And this is the shorter version, which is just a little bit closer and it just has the hard drive throwing back and forth, but this will be exactly the same process. So first, if you guys remember, I had her do the whole sequence with the hard drive in her right hand, then I had her do the whole sequence with the hard drive in her left hand, and then I had her do the whole sequence with no hard drives in her hand. So she's doing all the same movements. This is the sequence right here at the top with the hard drive in her right hand. And I just have her throw it back and forth, pretending that she's throwing it back and forth. Her head's acting, everything's acting. The next thing I did was, which I already have done here, but I'm just showing you guys, is that I created a mask right at the wrist. So I'm gonna turn on this mask now and boom now it's just her body so this shot is gonna be the entire gonna be in the sequence the entire time this is that one the one with the hard drive in her right hand and she's just moving back and forth so now how do we get the hard drive from this hand to this hand well i take the same exact clip now and just have a separate mask and here's the two wrists right here boom this is still that same shot but now it's on a separate mask just like that right um it's just the same clip and then as we get closer i need to have the hard drive in none of her hands because now she's thrown it we're at the point of being it being thrown so now what i've done is i masked in i masked this hand out right here so it looks like the hard drive's gone with the shot where she has no hard drives in her hand when she was doing the sequence and as you can see i can show you right here it's just mask of no hard drive in her hand for that hand and i can move it up see it just goes right over the top like that and you can put tracking points if you want so that it will be in the right exact spot this one i didn't really have to so just one tracking point and so from here to here now it looks like she's let go of the hard drive it's disappeared boom and now we need to put the hard drive into her left hand so we're going to bring in a clip of the hard drive in her left hand and what i did was the same exact process as what i did there is boom and so just a mask again and so i just took the mask with the hard drive of the, the left hand and this one's still being covered up right and the hard drive in the left hand and i just uh put in some keyframes to make sure that it was in the right spot because look it was right there boom back and just the same thing and then if i turn on all these layers eventually the hard drive will come back boom so there it is empty again with no hands and then there it is again appearing back with the original shot and so it's really it's not simple it does take a little bit of work i was gonna say it's really simple it's not it takes a little bit of practice but um really all it's all i'm doing is taking this main shot right here masking out the wrists and then adding in the three different shots that I did and just replacing the wrist for each one to make a sequence of it going it's in the right hand no hands left hand so these are all just different shots and then left hand no hands right hand and then everything stays the same with the head because I'm just using the first and original shot with the hard drive in the right hand and that is how you keep everything looking coherent 
and smooth running as well as possible the best i could in matching up not everything's gonna be perfect when doing it but it's pretty damn close all right let's jump into the green screen now for the green screen now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take the shot and i said i'm gonna use the clip that i have with the drill and replace it and put it into after effects i'm gonna create a mask around it because i don't need to pull from everything as you can see the lights and the light bars in there so we don't want that in there and we're just gonna go whoop, perfect cool easy and double checking to make sure that the hard drive doesn't go outside of the mask and then put in key light drag it on and then i'm gonna take the eyedropper for screen color and it looks pretty good i know from using key light that i have to bring it up a little bit over 100 so that there's no green artifact left and i think probably right there is gonna do it and then i'm gonna get choker i type in choker and i'm gonna get simple choker and that just cleans up the edges a little bit just in case if you have any residue left over i don't want to go too far because as you can see it will start destroying the quality of the hard drive but this is gonna be pretty far away we're gonna jump back into premiere and like I said, I've already done this, so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys uh, the process so you can do it yourself because it is an, it's a lot of work, unfortunately. So I'm gonna turn off these layers really fast so I can show you guys what it looks like. So here is where we just were at, where I was tossing the hard drive back and forth. I'm gonna drag in the green screen right here. Perfect. I'm gonna shorten a little bit because I know where I want it to line up. And then we're gonna scale it down because obviously that's much too big for the shot. Rotate it so it lines up right. Awesome. That's where I'm gonna probably want it from when it releases from our hands. Clean that up a little bit. All right, cut that piece. And so as you can see, I've already stacked them right there, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I did this. So I'm gonna bring it to the first one right there. And as you can see, now the hard drive is floating right there. And then what I'm gonna do is position it in the right spot and then make sure that it is about the same size. So the trick with this is that as she's throwing the hard drive, we want the first one to appear. So right there, perfect. I'm just adjusting that, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And so that's what it's gonna happen is it's gonna appear. And then now, as you can see, I'm just gonna show you the other ones and how I did them. So I did them in sequential order. So it's just the same hard drive right there. And as they appear, boom, boom, I just, I copied it and duplicated it up and then just pushed them over so that they follow in a line like that. And then it'd go every, every frame, one would appear. And then after four frames, the first one disappear. And then in sequential order, they would disappear. And so that gives that an effect like it's flying across the screen. And then I, all I did was rotate them, set each one separately. So yeah, I'm just, pretty much just duplicating that green, that green screen hard drive. And then I'm just rotating each one a little bit differently so that when I'm throwing them, you can see them spinning and it's doing this kind of echoing effect across. And that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that this helped a lot. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I hope that you like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.